how to study MBBS. Today, Medico Malu is going to show you some steps to tackle final MBBS. Go to the clinics regularly even if there is no relevant case. This keeps you in touch with the subject all the time. Next is study every day. Read at least two to three topics a day. Forget about being lazy. Next, you have to read more about the cases you have seen at the clinics in the morning and you have to study more on that. Next, you have to make an idea about the fresh topic if you are not familiar with that before learning the topic for the first time. Search internet, YouTube videos, search images, diagrams and listen to online lectures too. Next, prepare notes. When you finish reading a topic and after developing concepts, make notes out of it. Add images, diagrams and your own sketchings too. Make flowcharts can be used for pathogenesis, management and etc. They will easily stay in your mind for a long time. Next, always write important points in the textbook page itself. It helps in easy revision and recollection during exams. Next, paste sticky notes near the topic. This brings more idea to the topic while you are reading that. Make your own mnemonics. Try to make it more simple and easier. Complicated and lengthy mnemonics create more problem. Next is an interesting thing. Learn signs and symptoms in the reverse manner too. Usually we learn like X disease presents with symptoms like 1, 2, 3, etc. Try to learn in the reverse manner like if a patient presents you with symptoms like 1, 2 and 3 then mostly it will be X disease and this is how you diagnose a case in clinics and this helps in your clinics. Keep in mind if an exam relevant case comes to IP never hesitate be the first to examine the case. Read about the case before examining the patient and that's the way to become a good clinician. In your clinics, what you should do in your ward postings. Number one, take cases individually. If you accompany someone else, then it will decrease your brain work by more than 50%. And this is from my own experience. Number two, try completing the case within the allotted time. It helps you for better performance during the exam as you get only a limited time. Number 3. Refer test books, notebooks there itself. But senior doctors say not to do so. But make this a habit. It brings more light to the topic and you will learn the case then and there. Number 4. Teach others at bedside once we have learned the topic. You will learn more by teaching others and the best part is you will get more questions and doubts too. Fifth one, go to the wards in the evening time too. In the evening you will be relaxed and you will get more time to examine the patient and study much more things much easily. Number six, bring your colleague to the ward in the evening too. Discussing with your colleague brings more light to the topic. Your friend will be having some more knowledge to share with you. Next is number 7. In the evening, take quick rounds in the ward, just examining the positive findings only. This helps you to cover maximum number of cases and increases your brain's working pace. Next is number 8. You can call your seniors, PGs or even duty MOs even during the evening hours. You can call them to explain the case or to clear any doubts. Next, few tips on how to tackle a difficult topic. Read the topic multiple times. This is the first step of your attack mode. Follow write and study method. 
This has been proved as the best way to learn even challenging topics. You can paste sticky notes in the walls, in the books and go through them regularly. You can make diagrams, images, flowcharts and even sketches and in the end only these will be left in your brain. You will get more marks if you draw these in your exams. Share topics and discuss with each other. You study one topic and teach your friend and let him teach you another topic and that makes combined study more interesting. Cry for help, seek help and never hesitate. Ask your seniors or friends who are masters of the topic. Once you listen it from others, then it turns out to be a little bit easier while you read that topic again. And at last, find out your weakness. Work on it and overcome by yourself. Ours is a profession of self-teaching and self-competency. We have to develop the skills by ourselves alone. Follow these steps and in the long term, you will improve and become unstoppable. Hard work, willpower and dedication for a man with these qualities, the sky is the limit. And this is your medical mother.